So the John Lewis advert is most people in the UK's first sign that Christmas is coming. The giving of a gift, a brilliant song and tears are all the theme. But, as you can see, this year's advert has a bit of an astronomy theme to it. So, could you see a man on the moon? Could you deliver presents to the moon using just helium balloons? Let's have a look at the science behind the new John Lewis Christmas advert. Now the advert begins with a young girl noticing something strange on the surface of the moon as she looks at it through a telescope. When she looks closer, she sees that there's an old man living in a small house on the surface of the moon. Now it's often said that we can see a man in the moon, and this is just the coincident shapes of different craters and features on the moon, making the surface of the moon look a bit like a man's face. But could you see a real man standing on the moon? Now thankfully there's a really simple equation that we can use to work out how big a telescope we'd need to see a man on the moon. Now the equation says that the width or diameter of a telescope needed to resolve two objects, that is, to be able to see two objects apart from each other without them blurring together, is given by this simple equation just here. So let's say we want a telescope good enough to be able to see the features on the man's face from down here on Earth. All we need to do is put those numbers into our equation. Now, we know that the man's eyes are around 10 centimetres apart and that the moon is around 384 million metres away. Now, the wavelength of light, that's around 500 nanometers. We put all those numbers into our equation and we find that the size of a telescope that we need to be able to see the man on the moon would be around 2,000 meters wide. Now, this is obviously huge. Current telescopes, at the most, are only around 10 meters wide. So we need one that's 200 times bigger. But it's actually worse than that. You see, small pockets of air move around in our atmosphere. As they move, they blur the images that we see with telescopes. This is an effect called atmospheric seeing. So in fact, to get around this, we need an even bigger telescope. So we need a telescope bigger than 2,000 meters wide. Now, one way you could get around this is to put the telescope on a satellite orbiting around the moon. That way you get much closer, so you can make the telescope smaller, and you also get out of the Earth's atmosphere as well. However, I'm not sure that John Lewis sent any space satellites. Let's say the girl does get her hands on a 2,000 meter wide telescope. The old man isn't going to be up there very long. In the advert, he isn't wearing a spacesuit to provide him oxygen to breathe or to keep him warm. It's pretty hard to grow food or to make water on the surface of the moon. Of course, he might have terraformed the moon, providing an atmosphere that he can live in. Or maybe even built a giant dome over where he lives to contain an atmosphere. Then again, perhaps, maybe last Christmas he was given an atmosphere generator from John Lewis. Now after several failed gift delivery attempts, the old man on the moon notices a small present bobbling along the surface towards him, carried by helium balloons. So, could we deliver things to the moon using helium balloons in the future? Well, sadly not. You see, to start with, balloons actually expand as they rise up through the Earth's atmosphere. And eventually the balloons will expand so much that they'll do what all balloons eventually do. Balloons also only float upwards when the air outside them is less dense than the air inside. Now, as the atmosphere gets thinner and less dense as you go up, this means there's a certain point where helium balloons will stop rising through the Earth's atmosphere. But let's give it a bit of a chance. Let's say we put the balloons and the present already on the surface of the moon. What would happen then? Well, there's no atmosphere on the moon. And because there's no atmosphere, this means there's no wind. So there's nothing to blow the balloons or the present along. So, it looks like John Lewis are going to have to find a new way of delivering presents to the moon colonies in the future. So, the science behind the John Lewis advert is a little bit dodgy. You'd have to have a really good telescope to see a man on the moon. And if the man did manage to survive up there, it'd be pretty hard to get any presents to him. But who cares? The advert is really beautiful, and hopefully it inspires more people to get into astronomy this Christmas. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the rest of my channel for some really great science videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and why not leave a comment below saying what you thought the latest John Lewis advert. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys all soon.